beats going. Hello, 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 hello. Ho, 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 ho. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Cruise Monkeys official Christmas Live 2023. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And we've got a jam-packed one for you we've tonight. We've got loads. Yes, yeah, Santa may have been here today because yes. he's got some treats and stuff here. So let's start as we normally do. Give us a thumbs up um, if you can hear us okay Please. or somebody can comment in, in the comments yeah. to let us know you can hear us loud and clear. That will all be good. I'm just waiting for that to come through. Thank you all so much for joining us. Yes. We're really, really, we're really excited because it's Christmas. All good. Yeah, You can hear yes, us. That's good. good. I'm so glad you can hear us. So first things first, I think we just want to thank each and every one of you for your support for the past year. Well, um, some of you are longer, obviously, but especially as it's 2023 for this year. Yes. So thank you so much for all your comments, your likes, your subscribes, your sharing, whatever you do, the interactions, we appreciate it. And it's fantastic. So thank you so much for that. And... We Thank wish... you as well for last last week's video with comments oh, on yeah, that. With yeah. so many of them, Christmas has. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm in a whirlwind because I've been doing loads. Like I've been editing, I've been making cakes, I've been decorating, I've been wrapping presents. I am like a scatty cat. I'm all over the place. I'm gone. You are, um, aren't you? So um, I was going to say something. We've got a list of things. Got, yeah. We've wrote a list because we didn't <laughs> want to forget anything. Um, so yeah, you wanted to say thank you for thing, and we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas yes. and a Happy New Year. Um, more so, Merry Christmas because that's soon. Yeah, we're, what are we now? Two, two, three sleeps? Not very long. No, I, I'm. I've only finished work today, so I'm, I'm still kind of like prepping for Christmas. Yeah. But we're getting there, aren't we? Yes. So, um, what we'll do is I'll just explain the giveaway we've got going on tonight. A giveaway. You, yeah, you can see Ooh. that at the bottom of the screen there. Santa's come in. Oh, my yes. hat's a bit wonky. I should have. So Santa before on. we go into the comments, um, if you have a look on our website, cruisemonkeys.com forward slash win, um, if you enter your name, your email address, um, and you do have to click on to visit our Facebook group, that will register you to win some prizes. But you're gonna have to wait and see what they are. We'll, we'll keep, oh, keep, keep you waiting. Being for a bit mean, of that he's being mean. Um, <laughs> first things first, though. We've had a couple of questions sent in to us from our patrons. Yes. They always get priority because they're patrons. Um, so what questions we have from our patrons? So um, have we thought of doing a behind-the-scenes vlog? Ooh, now, maybe, I was... maybe sharing what goes into the creation of a travel vlog. I have, but the problem I've got is if I'm making the video, how do I record me making the video at the same time I'm making the video, if that makes sense? Yeah, I, I could I could possibly do something where you could film me one day and I'm like editing and we could possibly pick up the camera and film how we do things, possibly. Um I don't know how we'd have to, how we deal with all the expletives and the swearing. <laughs> but we'd we'd all the, all the not suitable for the vlog content. <laughs> also, I'm thinking of changing slightly how I do things as well. Like yes. I'm looking into actually investing in, in a Mac and taking things a bit up a notch. So at the moment, you do everything I do on your iPhone. mobile phone, which I do love, and it has served me well. However, at the moment, it's currently taking like about two days to sort out little things like volumes and yeah. stuff, and it's really getting on my nerves. It's ruining it. Um, and talking to Tom and Dom, sorry, Dom, the other week, he says there's actually functions on the Mac. I can just press, and it will normalize the whole thing for me, which will take like a whole day. To no, you're going into too much detail. It doesn't I know, matter. This is the thing, but this is what happens. It just, it's just not magic. It does take a lot of effort. Okay. I put a lot of effort in. We'll um, we'll see what we can do. We might do like a blog post or something. We'll try, about it. Yeah, we might do cool. something. It's something to make um, Good evening, Ken and Lindsay. Good to see you. Well, they've come uh, back from the back from the pub early. Thank All you. Especially to see us. Um, uh, let's have a look. So, okay, so we've got Catherine. Um, yes, Peter and Joan. Peter um, and Joan. Yeah, we've I, we've just answered their question as well. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> they always get a shout out. Uh, so Gavin asked. I just yeah, it goes wishing fast, and Gavin's uh, really good at this. Uh, I just go off on a tangent. Yes, really you do. do. We got, and we got loads of comments already. So okay, I'm trying so to whiz, whiz you through. He them. does. He nudges me because I do. Yeah, I, I, I like. Yeah, so, we're, we're in different locations. We're in the conservatory as well. We so I can't well, nudge you easier. Well, we it's thought easy. we'd go in the conservatory today because of our humongous tree behind us, and it's extra super special and festive. And we've got our table, haven't we, as yes. well? And we also, I don't know if you can spot, huh, look at this. This is the Captain oh. Inga Olsen beer, which I've took out. I've also got my Queen Mary beer, my Queen Victoria beer, and my Queen Elizabeth beer in their festive Christmas Cunard jumpers, and they all are sporting a Christmas hat. And they're under the telly. I've actually added them in. I found them this week. I was like, oh, they have to come out. But this one's very special because now she's Captain Inga Thorhauger. 
Yes, and she'll be and the she's captain now of Queen cap- Anne. going to be captain of Queen Anne, folks. Captain of Queen Anne. But this is her official beer because Captain Inga, if you do not know this, is the very first female captain of Cunard ever. Yeah. And that's fantastic. She's a lovely lady as well. We love her. So do you want to get back to the question? Oh, yeah, sorry. Back to the question. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted because um, she was looking at the tree. How does Queen Victoria compare to Queen Mary II? Right. Now, I will say this. Queen Mary II is an absolutely magnificent ship. She's different to any other cruise ship. Well, she's not a cruise ship. She's an ocean liner. And it's evident the minute you step on board, the scale of the ship and the styling and, and little things like some of the decks are sloped. we you know, counting for the shear of the ship and stuff like that. She is a true ocean liner. However, as much as I really, really love Queen Mary II, there is something about the interior on both Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria that we absolutely love because I think... The layout of the Grand Lobby with all those sweeping... And it's not just the Grand Lobby with these sweeping staircases. They do it in the, the library. Mm-hmm. They also do it... There's several places on the ship. There's Oh, there's two extra ones in the Britannia restaurant. They all like spiral down. They're just it's so elegant. These lovely sweeping stairs. And it's just so classic. I just think the interior, if they could have put that on Queen Mary, it would have been really, really cool. That, especially that Grand Lobby yeah. would have just been perfect. However, um, yeah, there's not... There's nothing I don't like about Queen Mary and there's nothing but Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth are really, really pretty, aren't they? They are really nice. In fact, I go as far as saying I like it, them so much. I am slightly apprehensive about what they're going to do to Queen Anne. I hope yes, they don't go too, too far because, you know, they did this before with the QE2, didn't they? They went really, really drastically futuristic yeah. or they tried something so far forward. It, I don't know if it really ever worked, did it, Queen QE2? I mean, it's a shame we never got to experience it ourselves. There's something nice and classic about QE and QB. So yes. ho- hopefully we've answered so that hopefully one. hopefully I kind of answered <laughs> it. I, I love Queen Mary too. She's still my favourite. But there's something about the interior and the layout of Q, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth that are just lovely. They really are. They're so easy to get around as well. Nice yeah. size ships. Very nice size ships. Uh, Lizzie Lou's here. Good evening. Um, Hello, Lizzie. You, if you're on the uh, Facebook group, uh, you'll recognise uh, Lizzie Lou as one of our moderators yes. on there. And tonight we have a lovely a Castle de Lablo Malbec. Oh, somebody's asked about wine, are they? Oh, they're already. No, no, no. I was just saying, oh, no. I was picking it up and I was thinking, I'm going to have a sip. I'm going to give you a chance to talk. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Jill. Um, it's quite. I'm just trying to go through these little comments, uh, guys. Question: Did we discover something to do in La Havre? Well, well yes, we um, did. It was our third time in La Havre, so we thought we'd better get off the ship because um, <laughs> you know you can't keep going to the same place. And and we off. can't just the excuse of getting up and going. Oh, and yeah, then, no. So we did. Make so we did. Effort. It was um, a very wet day. Yes. So we decided to walk down and see the containers, the, the arch containers. Yeah. yeah. Um, we went to the cathedral. It wasn't the one we were supposed to have gone to, though. Oh, wasn't we it? Got, no. Okay, we're going to you, you keep saying that. The one we went to wasn't the one that everyone's on about. Okay. There's this really cool, super modern, concrete sort of sculptured place, which is brand new, which I think was built after the war because it all got flattened. Oh, okay. And then there's the one we went to, which is kind of older, I think. Okay. Which was really, really pretty, by the way. Yeah. And fun fact, we did actually find in the stained glass window, there was a naughty miniature like Honey. Yeah. Uh, same colour as here. Good. She's very good. She's very good. She's, she's, she's lying down there. It's because Santa's coming. But he, and it was running round, causing a muck, running yeah. a muck. And um, was, yeah, and we also went to the little Christmas market. They had a little tiny Christmas Very markets small, there as well. Yeah. We were, we would. I did contemplate going on the Ferris wheel. There was a little one there. No, it wasn't the Ferris wheel. It was a, a merry-go-round. But I thought I'd get my bum wet because it was chucking it down. Where was the Ferris wheel? We did see one. Of them we did see well. a Ferris wheel. That was maybe that was that was there, there as well. That was there too. Yeah. yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. Um, but no, I was thinking. I, I saw the little horse. And I was like, I said, "Shall I go on it? It'll be fun." Because no one else was on it. I thought, oh, "Let's just liven up the guy's day." Uh, Hello, Len. Happy, happy morning, all. Happy Saturday, which must mean you're in Australia then. Ooh, we have a time traveler. People. Good morning. We have a time traveler. <laughs> These time um, traveling people. It'll be Christmas Day before here. Uh, Mer- Merry uh, Christmas, Pete. Uh, let's have a look. I really appreciate a nice start time. This is 6 30 a.m. Oh, that is it. Oh, we're really sorry. sorry. The <laughs> strong coffee. Yes, lots of it. Um, uh, Merry Christmas, Heather. Uh, oh, somebody is having the Baileys. So, oh, Pete's having the Baileys first. Thank you. We're on, we're on the red. Have a Baileys. Do you know what I did see in Tesco's yesterday? And I do like the look of it. They had this really nice Baileys. You'll log. Oh my god, it looked, it looked at it. We might have to get one of them. That looked really nice. I uh, see Tom Dom here as well. Hello, Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hope you're getting ready for your cruise. Hello, people. Hello, everybody. Uh, 
I see if there's any if you've got any questions make sure you put question at the start yeah, which makes, makes it a bit yeah, easier for us to see us all whoosh through then um good evening Alfie. hope you're well oh uh andy and kirsty good evening how are you um Hope hope you're feeling better, Andy. Because I know you, you went well after your last cruise. You yeah. you came down with the same as Luke. <laughs> What's that? Your shingles. Oh yeah, I had that oh, as yes. well. Yeah, it's yeah. been a year for that. It loads of people have yeah. the shingles. Um, even in, the shingles. even in Jerry. Hope you're well. Uh, just having some cheese, cheese. and wine Ooh, party. That sounds mm. gorgeous. More wine than cheese. Yes. Mm. See, we haven't actually had our tea yet. I've literally had some little satay skewer things from Home Bargains yes. in the car, and I had a little sandwich. And now it's always, been rush, 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 hasn't it's it? It's been all go to because tell you what happened. Right, what happened was I tried to order these little cake stand things, these tiny ones for my little tiny cakes that I'm giving out for Christmas, and. They didn't come, or there was something wrong. We couldn't get them in time, could I? So I had to order yeah. these other ones, and they only came this afternoon. And I couldn't decorate my cake properly until I put it on a proper stand. So I've been doing the bacon. Yes. I've been doing all the art, like the fancy cakes and the holly and the berries and all that. <laughs> uh, That's what I've been doing. Yes, life in the parks. Yeah, it's, it's Black Friday today. Yeah. Um, we went to Tesco's um, just before this, and it was really quiet because everybody's, everybody's gone out. And there's loads of taxis whizzing around and yeah. stuff. It's, like, really fun. I love it. I love but it. if you're not out on Black Friday and you're here with us, thank you very yes, much. We really appreciate it. Time. Well, we're having our own Black Friday. I don't yes. Know it's going I, I don't know if mine's the right way around. And I, when I go to do it, it's, like, the opposite way around. It's not like a mirror, is it? It does it different. Uh, I shouldn't be so saying it. Lynn's on two sleeps. Yeah, um, uh, Jen, Merry Christmas. So you're, yeah, you're behind us. Um, yeah, well, that's cool. Oh, uh, someone's just got Carol, Merry Christmas. Zurindam for a 12 oh, nighter. No, oh, this one here. Let's have a look. Another adventure. Zurindam 12 Oh, that'd be nice. Now, Over see, we've Christmas. not yet tried mm. Holland America line, have we? Now, that I think would be nice because we do really like Cunard. And they do have very similar, well, it's the same sort of class of ships for the most part, isn't it? Falls so America and uh, they're Christmas on our, Cruise, two perfect they're on, our, they're on our radar, actually, they really are, because I've, I've looked at the um, the main dining room where it's all like, it looks like the inside of a, like of a whale or something, like a bone, so the ribs, doesn't it? Yeah. It kind of looks like a fish. But it looks really posh and it looks nice, so I would like to try them. And what I've heard, I've heard lots of good things. The only thing that concerns me is they don't have, like, a bar at the top to, like, an observation lounge, like the Commodore Club or the Crow's Nest or whatever. It's more like an explorer lounge where they sort of sell you excursions and you have coffee and all. It's not a proper bar, is it? I think. That's from what I've seen. I might be wrong if I'm wrong. Correct me. But that's what kind of puts me off a little smidge. Just run through a few more Merry Christmases. Oh. Um, What's the third edition? Uh, yeah. Virgin Voyages, uh, Virgin. definite yay. A voyage. I'm yeah. sorry, I was thinking Morella then. I was thinking of Virgin. I was like confused. Yeah, no, it's definitely yay. Yeah. And we we, we have booked to go back on next year. On. Can't wait for that. Um, how long it takes to edit? So run through this one really quickly, Luke. Oh God. Um, well, it starts off with each day typically being roughly on this next cruise vlog series, I think about 500 videos and photos a day. And then I have to basically somehow edit them into a story that makes sense because in the evening sometimes it loses a bit of, yeah, it gets difficult to edit that, so it can be quite challenging. So I edit it, and then I have to then add the music to it. And then after I add the music to it, then I have to check the volumes of the whole thing to make sure some parts don't go really loud and some parts aren't really quiet. You want to turn, if you have to turn it up and down, I hate that. So I try yeah. to do my best. And the music's the same. And then once we finish that, then we have to look at it and we have to see if there's any long bits where there might not be any na like narration or talking or commentary. So sometimes we put in little facts or little bits of voiceover. So we have to write that. And then we have to do our voiceover, don't we? Yeah. And then once we do the voiceover, I have to check the volumes for those because they can be inconsistent depending on our mood and who's talking and sitting closer to the microphone or further away. And then finally, that's it. That's finished then. And then that gets saved and uploaded. And then the next challenge is then we have to pick a cover for our for YouTube, because YouTube likes something that's striking that people interact with and click, and they actually yeah. measure how we how we our videos work. So we have to find something that pops, but we don't like our videos to be clickbait. If we can help, we like something striking, something that'd be interesting, make people go, hmm, but I don't want it. I never like it to be misleading. No. I, I never, ever do that. But um, um, as a video I'm editor, I'm sure you've probably, you could probably streamline that quite a lot. Um, I, I was hoping I will be able to yeah. when I, yeah. I'm no, hoping this year. Pete's a video editor. Oh right, I was gonna say. Profession. I was gonna say I, I need to I need to, like the yeah. whole day thing of trying to just go through every clip of audio with headphones and and just basically gauging it myself. There's no real. We did have an equalizer thing <laughs> yeah, we, we did, bought, but that didn't seem to work. Did no, it? what it did was it started to um, 
cause like with the bass of the music for some reason it was making it rattly and i didn't like Come that on, get... you're i finished i finished okay. i say what i said don't okay. be rude you asked me a question <laughs> and asked. we don't want to bore people with uh, the not. technicalities you asked me <laughs> it's, it's not like i'm just going off on a tangent um, you asked me yes we had, we had a fab time on we queen victoria it was really good queen victoria was lovely i in fact i go as far as saying i can't believe we waited so bloody long to go back on cunard i mean what the hell was going through our heads because we loved it before yeah and I just don't know why we didn't go back sooner. I really don't. We fell in love with it straight away. It was, like, it was nice. It was like we're in a comfy pair of slippers. We just walked straight yeah. back in and we just, ah, this is nice. Really good. Really, really um, enjoyed it. Have we got plans on a Christmas cruise? Not yet. We'd love to do one. Love What's to do this it. now, sorry? Anyway. Have we got plans for Christmas cruise? No, no but, but I would. We, 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 since going on Queen Victoria, seen all the decorations and the festive. Yeah. And that, and that It'd be amazing. We would love to really. We're looking into it, I think, uh, possibly. And Dolly Cowan from Anglesey. Go on Morella Voyager to the Caribbean over East. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, Ooh, yes. Very nice. Fierce Morella cruise. We haven't been with Morella yet either, have we? No, we'd love to. We would love to try another one. We will. I think we're going to aim because we're going to aim for probably Hi, Morella Sherry. and things. Hope you're well. So, yeah, we're going to aim for Morella, aren't we, quite soon, I think. And um, we haven't been on Pinot Azzurro or Ventura for a very long time no, either. Really, so we? we need to go back on those because we do like those ships. But um, yeah, I fancy something like that. Um, uh, just before we go to the next question, just a reminder, if you want to enter the competition, um, go to cruisemonkeys.com forward slash win, enter your name, your email address, and make sure you click um, click to visit our Facebook um, group. You have to click on that for you to be in the competition. That's how the system kind of registers it. Yeah. And then um, we, Gavin did a test yesterday, so um, the little names come up. Yes. And it's really do good. Want, do you want to tell them what they're going to win if, if they, on the on the first thing we're going to give away? The first thing. Okay, okay. It's only something small. Okay, the first thing. Drum roll, please, people. I, I bet the suspense is killing them. Shall I keep, how long can I make this going for? Shall I drag this out? Right, okay. The, because it's Christmas time, and we know you, you like us, obviously, because you are here. We have this. This is an official ceramic cruise monkeys ball well for your tree. And there'll come a little message in the back of it. If well. you like, yeah, we can write a message on the back for you and we'll sign it. We'll probably, when we've got the winner, we'll know the name. So we can write on the maybe congratulations yes. or Merry Christmas, probably Merry Christmas, actually, because then you can always have it forevermore. And it'll hang, can hang on your tree. I mean, it doesn't go as well as it clashes with our deco on this particular tree, but just to give you an idea of the size. And it's nice. We, we've got one in our, our kitchen. You yes. may have seen it on our Christmas house video last week, which we love. So, so yes. So enter um, now, and we'll, be, we'll probably draw that in a few minutes' time. Uh, but I think we've got we actually loads of um, comments have come in. So let's run through these really quickly, Luke. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We'll catch up now. Right, uh, Iona, uh, what do you think? Is something not to miss on board, Iona? Keel and Cow, Keel and Cow is brilliant, and uh, you have to go to the Sky Dome Water Show because it's just kind of different yeah. and it's nice. It's like you're watching a show but you're still on the open decks if that makes sense because you can see out at sea which i love because i don't feel like i'm missing anything olive grove we find slightly overrated i've gone a bit fed up of the olive grove i loved it at first but the second two experiences have not, yeah, been, not been great have they so but yeah keelan cow is definitely my favorite and if you've if you're avid pinot cruiser and this is the first time you've come across it i would definitely recommend keelan and cow. if you after a quick lunch the katsu curry yes really in nice the keys. keys the keys is very very handy yeah, yeah. But that's what I would recommend. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, shout out to Two. Nick and Charlotte. Oh, you're on your first cruise in seven days. Mm -hmm. oh, and, and, and Aurora as well. Aurora, oh, where well, a snap. You have done what we are doing. And we're back on Aurora next year too, folks. And they've got the drinks package. And they've got the drinks package. <laughs> Aurora is a lovely ship. And for your first cruise, it'll be so nice. Yeah. Because it's not too over the top. It's easy to navigate. Get around it really quick. You feel connected to the sea. And I find Aurora's almost yacht like yeah. compared to newer ships. Really she is dated nice. in some areas, but she's like how old now? 25, 24, 25? She's, you know, so the bathroom might be like peach and stuff, yeah. but the ship is lovely. The other spaces, you know, is you can't fault out. We love it. We love Aurora. We're looking forward to going back. Yeah, we, we can't wait to go so back. So if that's Aurora. any recommendation, we're going back. We're um, going back. Evening Kelly and Tony, you can see in the comments as well. Um, Will you go back on? Piano and if ship and when mm, that's very difficult. Well, we okay. are going back. On. So we are going back on Aurora <laughs> yeah, in and, May, and, and we obviously cruise. have our groups cruise yes. on Britannia, which we love because we got our honeymoon was on that yep. ship. So if you look in the description of the video, we have got a link, and it's also on our website to our group cruise, which is happening in the middle of September to the fjords. That's on Pino Britannia. And if we were to book a fresh book in now, off the top of our head, we would be at the moment probably looking at Azura and Ventura. And we would like to go back on Arcadia again, but I think we're going to hold out now until yeah. she has a refit. 
because uh, yeah. she's due a refit. I think she's due a next, refit. And I'd like to see what they do after it. And yeah. So we'd like to wait until that. Um, Merry Christmas, Emma. Uh, what has been the best place we've been to this year? That is very, very difficult because the fjords are absolutely breathtaking. The scenery is phenomenal. However, the weather was lovely in the Caribbean. And we did see some really Martinique nice... Martinique was a brilliant place. Martinique. That's the, yeah, that was really, really good. That's the we went off with... Um, was it Al? We no, had the no, best. No, no, which that, was the one we went to that really nice beach with the dog because that was absolutely that was, that was Martinique with that, with um, I can't remember his name. Uh, KT Tours. Is it some, some yeah, like KT Tours. That yeah, that was really really nice. Oh, I did I did like the pitons though. That was pretty. It was pretty. It's very hard. To, it's re very hard to put your finger on it. But yes, I would say it's the fjords are always spectacular. But we did enjoy. I'd say Martinique probably. Uh, Ken goes cruising says going to Honfleur is the best thing to do in the half. Maybe okay, next time. Maybe next time. Uh, Merry Christmas, Cruise and Gaze. Um, and I think you're on one of the cruises with next year, so we'll see you then. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Merry Christmas, Sherry. Uh, How do you guys manage to change your drinks so what's this? So many times in an evening without being ill the next day? <laughs> well, no, I don't know. no, see, we've gone. We do change, mix them up, but it's like sometimes you will have like a, a wine. We'll be drinking wine. You will try a gin. And you'll look, it's not sitting right. Or we'll have a gin and tonic, maybe one or two, and it's like, oh, it's not sitting right. Yeah. We'll have a red wine, and then going into dinner, that's nice. And then going into port, that's also nice. But then afterwards, I do need a cocktail, and if I'm like disco dancing, um, but we try, we do try, we do suffer if we do mix them too much. Believe you me, yeah. um, especially with indigestion stuff. If it's too much it's what, sugar, it's what a line is. next day is for. Yes, <laughs> that's why our sea days we don't get up till twelve most of the time. Life in the park says ruin instead of staying in the hub. Yeah, I've heard ruin is very nice. Yeah. So, uh, so Carol's on the Baileys too. Um, so let's have a look. So we have uh, Deborah Wingall. Happy birthday. Well, hey. well, yesterday. So happy belated birthday. <laughs> um, so best place been, I think we answered that one, haven't we? Deborah Wingall. Uh, happy birthday. Hope you did have a lovely day, by the way. Well, Luke says posh. And I say glass house. Do we say it? I don't know. Whenever Luke says posh, <laughs> Gav says glass house. Posh. Okay. Okay. Um, Posh. We've got Tom and Dom. have got a question. What's the entertainment like on Cunard? Right. Well, you can I fill up my wine while you answer that? Okay. Well, please? I'm not one for entertainment. I will be honest. I don't really do that. I have done the the traditional sort of style, sit in the theatre show, but it's really not my sort of thing. I did do it this time on Queen Victoria because we did actually go for the box because it's quite an experience. You get like the little bellboy, you get taken in, you have your cocktail, you have some, what do you call it? Um, Campaign. Petty Force, petty force. Like sweets. Yeah, petty force, yeah. And then you go and you get taken into your box. It was really lovely. And they give you like half a bottle of, um, what was it? Perry, uh, Lauren Perry. Lauren Perry champagne, which is lovely. You get your own little area and you can see the stage. You're in a really good like angle to see it, which was really great. And I enjoyed that. Um, most of the time, we just sort of stand at the back, don't we? Yeah. However, Cunard, there was your standard sort of shows. Then you have around the ship, there's like Strinkle Tets with Afternoon Tea or Pianist or uh, Harpist. They always play and they do these things like in the atrium and there's always someone playing like a piano in the Commodore Club, isn't there? Um, there's that sort of music, always given ambience. Uh, but as a, it's just basically shows. And then for nightlife, you have the Yacht Club at the top, which is like a late night disco. Also, though, they do like a bit of a sometimes ballroom dancing, yeah. a bit of like a fancy, like um, what you call like tango and all that sort of stuff in the Queen's room. And then they do also do a silent disco there as well, which it was, it was, was really was, quite good. It was I, varied. I quite like, I quite like the it Queen, was though. varied. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not as like rah, rah, rah as say Virgin, but in a cr traditional cruise. There sense, was one day we got back, or one morning we got back to the cabin at four o'clock in the morning. That was at the after being at the yacht club. Yeah. But, I was like, <laughs> but that was, yeah, but it wasn't, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? No, it was, mm. it's, a lot of fun. It's not. It's, it's not as stuffy as people make out. You know, is it? It's no. quite nice. Um, so as you've read that about the pub before, I don't know where you're going, but this is all over place. This is ten past, just fifteen minutes ago, mate. Yeah, I know. It's, it's it does this normal thing where it just kind of jumps us because <laughs> I read that before. <laughs> so this is what happens. People, it gets lost. Right, and we try to get through everybody. We really do. So we've got we one was our next try. cruise. We haven't had that one. So our next cruise is in February. Next cruise in February. We will be announcing more info on that in January. Yeah. So we're not going to say anything about that now. So we're going to maybe do another little competition for that one. You'll have to see which ship it is on. Yes. And that was a big clue, by the way. Um, <laughs> 
Yes, we we went for the drinks package. So on the five nighter, it's seventy dollars per person, yeah. and it was well worth it because yeah. they had large glasses of wine, doubles. Their cocktails yeah. are really, really like posh. It covered, <laughs> they, it they have like things. Like they, they come out with their gins and stuff, the ultimate gin and stuff, and they're like a vase of flowers. They put like sprigs yeah. of like um, rosemary and, and stuff in it, and they in thyme, and and they put like whole sticks of cinnamon and all in your. It really, really nice. is nice. Um, it's weird, plans for 2024. So, um, yeah, we've got loads. Um, we'll, we'll be announcing that. We've, we we've got a mystery one that's in February, which I yes. hope you're all going to love. It's going to be a big surprise. Uh, dropped a clue. I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> then we have we have Aurora. We've got Aurora. Then we've, we've got, got a Virgin Cruise. We have a Virgin Cruise. And we've got a group cruise. We've got a group cruise. And we do have another Cunard as well. Oh, yeah, and another Cunard. Another Cunard <laughs> next year as well. Uh, I, I think so there's, lots, there's lots to come. Yeah, we've got Stay next tuned. year's going to be really, really fun. Loads of fun. Lots coming up. Lots of, yeah. Uh, yes, the wedding was amazing. It was a really good, a long day, wasn't it? But it was really good. Last weekend, yes. Wedding. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, the wedding. Yes, it was the Carol was on that was on a patron. So she yes, right. Really, that's yeah. Yes. No, it was really good, and it was a nice winter wedding as well. And it was like yeah. a little photo booth. I mean, I, I would have run and got the photos. I don't know why I'm not even looking at the camera. Yeah. But it was loads <laughs> of fun. I come back really, really drunk as usual, and it was yeah. nice because I met my friend who I grew yes. up with in school. It was his wedding, and I haven't seen him for a long time. So it was so nice to actually catch up. It was lovely. Uh, good evening, say a little way with Gail and Mike. Hello, hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Uh, so group cruise next time will be our first Pinot cruise. Uh, what excursions would you recommend right. to the ports we are visiting? What is going to happen is if you are going on our group cruise, obviously there's a Facebook group dedicated just for that. At the moment, we, we're just starting to dip our toes into it. And it's, it's just very, you know, it's quite early. Yet. 38 weeks away. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we haven't actually, yeah, we're going to get in more involved with that now going forward. It's going to happen. We just want Christmas and things straighten up. Um, what we're going to do is we have a Norwegian Fjords cruise next year before the group's cruise, and we're going to a couple of the ports on that. Yeah. And we have ports we've obviously been to before. So what we're going to do, we're going to do excursions ourselves. But we're going to post in that group, I think, aren't we? Yes. What we're going to do. And if you're on the group cruise, you can join us. We'll go. We'll all go together. And we can do your own thing, obviously, but we're going to say what we're doing and you're more than welcome to join us. If there's a load of us, there's a load of us. It's more the merrier. Um, but what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll, we'll, we'll make suggestions. We will sort it all out. Um, yeah, so be with us. But um, I can't remember where we're going on that group cruise now. We've got Flam, haven't we, which we've not yes. been to yet. We, we might try and do the train. We're gonna, we're, yeah, I think we might do the train, just a heads up. But we'll, we'll see. It'll all come together. We will we will look at it possibly. Yes, we will. Uh, so remind me, message us again and pop it on the Facebook group. Probably, yeah, yeah. On the and then remind us, and we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a good have a good look. So I want to sit down properly. It's nothing I want to rush through on a live, if that makes any sense. Um, right. So ads just... on a live. Have we pulled a camera? Yeah, I think now? YouTube's now started. If you put ads on something, it'll put it into your lives as well. So what happens then? Does that mean it interrupts? Yeah, it interrupts it slightly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, bloody hell. Um. And it's Christmas as well, so it knows. Yeah, Ken, Ken's like, yeah, it's YouTube. Yeah. Right, okay, so I think we're, we're, we're caught up, and that's quite nicely to have past. That's, we're not going to finish. We're going to do a little competition now. Yes. Um, but if you've got any more questions, please keep popping them in there. That would be great. Okay, so, so I don't know how this is going. Oh, oh, I can see some names on the screen. So I'm just going to have a quick look so now. I'm going to see who. So we've, yeah, we've got who has um, won this, people, this luxurious Christmas Bosch Bobo. It's very posh. Very posh. Actually. And it will be posted when we, when we walk the dog tomorrow, because we know Christmas is only around the corner, we will pop it straight in the envelope tomorrow. We'll put, try and put some bubble wrapping around it, because I don't want it to break. I hope to God it doesn't break. And we will send it off. Right. We? Are we ready for the first winner? Oh, let's have a look. We're picking a winner. Here it goes. Here it goes. Randomly, it's generating a name. And the winner is... Andy. Andy Willie. You have won the bauble. You have won the Christmas bauble. Congratulations. I'm making a note so of that. Now. He's got your, Gavin has your email address. So, we so what I'll do, I'll drop you an email um, yeah. and this ask you yours. for your address, and we'll get that in the post to you tomorrow. Yeah, that is so yours. Congratulations. It won't be there for Christmas Day, I'm afraid, but. Well, it might, yeah, be there. For, well, you can still hopefully put it on your tree, but, like, because I don't take our, we don't take our tree down until like the 6th, do we? We leave it after New Year's. So, so hopefully mail, you get oh. to. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you'll get to see it on a tree this year. Hopefully. Well, if not, you've got it for next year. Sorry, it's so late, but yes, you have won. Congratulations. Woo! 
Right. So, so that's now that's done. If so you that's... still haven't entered the competition, you've still got time to win another prize, which yeah. will be um, drawn at the end of the live stream. And that is Luke. This is a very special, special prize. Now we know how much everybody would love to get their hands on a Max the Monkey, don't we? Now this one is a special one. This is a Christmas Max the Monkey because I have been specially to Poundland and I have got a Christmas hat for him. So <laughs> he's officially Christmas Max. So if you would like to win a Christmas Max the Monkey... You know what to do, and what do yep. you do? You so, might need reminders. It's, it's on the bottom of the screen there. Okay, so it's cruisemonkeys.com forward slash win. Um, enter your name and your email address. Click login. Once you've logged in, scroll down and click to enter the competition, and you have to click the visit the Facebook group. You don't have to join the group. You have to visit it. And nice if you did. We, we'd love it if you would join it. But, yeah, this one's really good because you can actually take the hat off. So throughout the rest of the year, you can actually take him on your adventures with you, like every, like you see on our Facebook group. You see people. I don't know what's happened to his T-shirt. And you can take pictures of him. We took some pictures of Max yeah. on our last cruise. He was drinking cocktails, and he even found himself up a Christmas tree. And he was really naughty that day. In I the can office. see some people have registered but haven't clicked the link as well. What's this? So, now? um We've got probably about six people who've um, entered the details but not clicked on the link to go to the Facebook group. Um, so if you go back to the page and do that, you'll then get entered into the next oh, one. Okay, okay. So do, do, do you do have the names there? Do, 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 yes, I do have the names. Do you want me to read them out quickly? Yes, yeah, so if, if uh, so Robert, Hamilton, Robert, Lynette, Lynette Stewart, Heather, Alfie, Alfie Catherine, Deborah, uh, Marcia, Nobo, and Richard. So if, if you're if you one of those... Just pop it. Will it just let them do it? Again? Yeah, go, go back, go back on the website, and then make sure you click on the link because it's not going to be entered. entered. Yeah. And you can win a max. And um, thank you, Lizzie Lou's. Yeah, don't Lizzie Lou's. <laughs> Lou. Don't forget a thumbs up. Yes, please don't forget a thumbs up. We love it. Yes. So uh, we need to look at what we've because we've gone through so much, haven't we? Oh, so we've got the competition. Yes. We also have some more exciting news for twenty twenty four, don't we? Have yes. We I have twenty twenty four. Yeah, it's twenty twenty four. Right. Lots of you have been asking about how you can get our merch and we've said to you for so long we've been trying to set up a shop and everything else and we can confirm it is going to be happening in january isn't it we're going to yes. have the official cruise monkey shop where you'll be able to buy all things like this so i'll get up hang on Gavin's let me, let me, gonna do it. we don't want to knock me, the wine everywhere no. so you'll be able to get things such as this. you've seen this one already yes and we've got a little t-shirt kind of goes with it as well this is a whole new design slightly similar to the virgin voyages one which i love it's like got nautical stripes all over it and that's got our logo there we have loads of other little knickknacks on our shop so well. you're ready for these we've been sent some samples thank you nicola so we can show you what to expect so the first one the yellow hat however i would recommend if you do have this hat don't wear it on to muster no. Everyone, will, everyone will swap you and question you. Uh, other than that, though, it's good. It's game. It's a fun hat, and I love it. This is so mine. Can you take that back? So you're not candy yet because I don't want to get red wine over it like I did with the hand before. Um, right? You've got that. We have this is handy if you're going to the spa because you know we like to go to the spa. You can put your flip flops and things. Like it. It's a little cruise monkey's tote bag, and these obviously come in different colours, not just yellow. They are available in different colours. Yes, we're going to select a few different colours. So this is the tote bag, folks. It's quite nice so size. It goes with Gavin and the hat. It was all bananas, yeah. It's all gone bananas. Yes. So yeah, yeah, like seems to be our colour, It's like Christmas, isn't it? And then I don't know if you need this really, Lou. Well, we do. I do need coffee in the morning. <laughs> so we do also have our cruise monkeys mug, which has cheers people written on the back. So I hope you will love that one. I hope you like that. We've been, we've, we've been coming up with all these things, haven't we? We, we uh -huh. had to write it all down. Come up with these. We designed. We this this designed ourselves. For about six months of us we've trying to really, Yeah, we've been trying to give you. Yeah, and and the last thing. And the last thing. Look at this. Oh, look! We have our own backpack, which again will be available in various colours. Yes, I'm not sure on the colours. Not sure on the like colours. Check on that one. But the blue is really nice. It's got a nice big backpack. You've got a front pocket and you've got a little wallet pocket at the top as well. So I know I'm going to be taking that on the next cruise. He loves the bags. Yeah, I love the bags. I have the tote bags for my flip flops and my beach wears yeah. and when I have my sun creams in when I go to yes. the, and stuff and when I go to the spa. 
So that's just some of the stuff with some of the stuff. Okay, have and obviously things like this will be available in the shop. Yep. Yes. And will Max be available in the shop? We are looking, we're looking to get Max. Max. We're trying to get Max. We're trying to get lanyards as well because a lot of people like the lanyards. The lanyards, yes. The lanyards were very popular. But what we're also looking to do as well is we're hoping or trying to do it so that maybe when we do groups cruises, each lanyard for the groups, the group on the group cruise, sorry, or person on the group cruise, it's all specific to that cruise. Yes. So it might say something like, as in next year's case, Britannia, Cruise Monkeys Cruise. And then we'll have our generic one that you can wear all the time. Mm -hmm. Paul Nicola's just learning this now if she's watching. Oh, is she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's just something we, we've been rabbiting on. They're thinking about these things. Is this no? We, I thought we don't. Oh, see, he talks to me, and we have these long, lengthy conversations where we're walking our dog, and we come back, and I just assume that's what's happening. And then all of a sudden, he says, No, I haven't said that yet. And this is what happens on the lives that tell people. Well, I've got things. so much stuff going on, like right. work and stuff. I can't I'm, I'm cope the same, sometimes. I am the same. I am the same. <laughs> um, train, yes. Uh, May. Cruise uh, flam trained us book really I quick, so you've got to. I think they release it six months or something like that in advance, so you've got to try and jump on it because the cruise lines will um, yeah. snap them up otherwise. We're thinking of doing a river cruise, so we've done our Avalon last year. We'd love to know the we river did cruise. Love it. We would love to do it again, and in fact, we're looking at the Christmas one because it does look really amazing to do it at Christmas time, doesn't it? Going yeah. to Cologne and uh, Strasbourg and all of those, they look so festive at Christmas yeah, time. It would, be, it would be awesome. It's so relaxed as well. Um, we haven't got anything planned yet, but never say never. We would definitely like to go on another one. Um, do you know who we'd go with? We might try a different line maybe next time. But I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with Avalon. We'd do them again as well, wouldn't we? Avalon yeah. was it was really good, good. especially you know got the um, the happy hours and the, the drinks with your meals and stuff like yeah. that. That really suited us. But I mean, if we're paying for it, it would have to be cheaper. Yeah, well, the Avalon one was they were, no, they weren't ridiculous um, expensive. You could have done the, for the cruise we went on. It was nine hundred ninety nine pounds per yeah. person. So you could have if that isn't. Overly expensive when it includes yeah. your drinks. And the experience and was a lot excursions more, as well. The experience is a lot intimate, and there's no queues yeah. getting on and off. You don't have to wait for anything. Do you on one of those? They are quite nice. Oh, good tip there from Lizzie Lou. Keep checking the Flam Railway as they open up slots. It's right. good to know. So we will be checking because what, what we're going to do is we're hoping to go on to Norway before our group cruise, which we're going to go to Flam, so we'll yeah. be able to experience the train ourselves to then know exactly how it works, to then decide if we're going to do it again, won't we? Because I mean, not being funny. We really enjoyed the um, go and see Puppet Rock when we went on Iona last time. Mm. All the times we've been to, to Stavanger, we've never done that. I wish we'd done it sooner, and I would do it again going back because hopefully we might, maybe fingers crossed, yep. get better weather. Um, so we would like to try when it's drier. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, Sam, is she book another Virgin Voyages cruise? Uh, most of five nights. Okay, so am I guessing right out of the US? Um, because they do seem to do seven nights from Barcelona, don't they? And they're doing four nights, three nights, and are they doing seven nights from the UK? Yeah, they're, doing, well? they're, they're in different lengths from the UK. The five night they? thing seems to be quite popular from like Miami and all, yeah. doesn't it? But yeah, so, I know what you mean. Five nights, it goes you'd so have quick. To, you'd have to do like back to back, really, yeah. to make it worthwhile. And then it would get quite expensive then. And then yeah. you've obviously got to try and book either do it back to back with the same room because you don't need the inconvenience of swapping rooms, or you have to swap rooms. Um, so yeah, but. But you know, it'd be ideal if you live in um, Florida to do yeah. five nights. That'd be amazing. Oh, look what we've got in in yeah. So we've got Richie, Zoe, and um, Ernie. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Glad you can make it. Um, life in the parks, loving all the merch. What yeah. bias to you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Um, no, thank you. It's, no, we really no, appreciate we, the work you guys put in this, this t-shirt is like my favorite i'm rocking this look because i love the fact now it looks so similar to the one i nearly bought the one on virgin have you seen it? if you've been on virgin well no there's a t-shirt very similar it's just got a v there this was like is a v this. in it but it's very similar and when we saw this it's like yes perfect it's, it's nice and nautical as well the stripes uh merry christmas richard and merry christmas everybody merry christmas as well uh ah trudy and andrew in south wales oh lovely um tom dom loving the merch thank you um you know if we, if we haven't got merch that you want that we haven't mentioned and you'd like to see do yeah. let us know if because you've got we, ideas we can, we can then have a look what's available so and try and put that in the shop yeah because sometimes we yeah it's just something was stuck in the top of my head and i could see like this ball of something and i'm like, <laughs> trying to work out what's going on um okay yeah. nicholas says it's all good cool thank you <laughs> is that because um she's been on the on the one <laughs> uh we call her uh 
room of floor okay just looking through uh, okay best, best and worst, worst cruise no Ooh. that's hard worst cruise worst cruise i'll go with the worst first but i'm trying to think what was the worst um Mm, that's really hard. I, I, know, I know which cruise I think we think is probably going to be our worst cruise. It's probably Oceana because we lost, they lost the case, but the cruise itself was really good. So after that, I picked cruise up. Was good. I know the other one we, were, we weren't too fond of Oriana. No, Oriana was great. And we weren't too fond of Preziosa. No, they, they, were, they were our early on cruises. Yeah, they were our least favorite. Um, if we go for the most recent ones, I don't think there's one I've come off and said I don't no, enjoy I, it. I think when we went back on Virtuosa in September, there was a shock of going from a yeah. thousand passengers to five thousand, which yeah. that wasn't. It was the worst cruise of the year. Yeah, if you it did was, it, if you said within the last twelve months, I'd probably say Virtuosa, twelve months. Last twelve months, so say from this like whole year, so that'd be like Avia, Iona, Virtuosa, those uh, Virgin, all them. I think the worst one out of this last twelve months would probably be like. Virtuosa because it was just so cruise. <laughs> it was too busy for me. No, I would have liked to have spent more time yes. with people and, and that maybe it was too short and it was just too busy. And I, I think that's why we've decided to do the seven night on Long Britannia. Way. We've chosen yeah. we've chosen a smaller ship, um, a quieter ship, and a longer duration so that we can really spend time yeah. with people that come on board. My favourite cruise of the year so far. Oh, it's difficult. I really did enjoy Queen Victoria, but virgin was really blew my mind i did enjoy virgin i'm gonna say out of i definitely prefer virgin over celebrity i did love Arvi though Arvi was, was amazing oh yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a nasty question it's a horrible <laughs> question because it's very difficult it's, like you said there's never i've never got off ship and said oh never again i've said i might like i definitely remember saying msc i wanted to just take it take a bit of a break from msc just need to recover myself a bit but it's mm. not that i wouldn't go with msc again i do enjoy I your brother yesterday yeah. and he loves and I, do, I, I do love seaside and stuff i just mm. maybe it was just the short duration and the intensity of the drinks package and, and the queues and the ship we were on quite cheap cruises so it was party cruises which is different again yeah um, we and i think the other thing that yeah, is we're big ships out yeah um, we're tired of big ships which is moment. probably not the best in the sea but on the <laughs> cruise but hey ho um it's quite a big ship, isn't it? Yeah, but um, we we do seem to like the kind of three thousand passenger ships. They're, they're a nice. That's yeah. the sweet spot, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that really answers your question, but yeah, I'd no. Say, I'm, well, I'm say, I'd it's say Virgin, Virgin, yeah, Virgin, Virgin, Virgin positively surprised us. We really enjoyed Virgin, um, but yeah, I don't know if it's my favourite all time cruise. So I did really like the Arcadia cruise at time, but mm. then I, I often say. Uh, you always have more memories of that one because you're on the ship for longer as well. I think sometimes when you're on a ship for longer, it seems to resonate with you yeah. longer and you seem to have more fonder memories of it because you're more relaxed. Because I always go through a, a spell of adjusting to being on a cruise. Like, before I relax, it takes me a time mm -hmm. to chill out. Um, Baltics. We haven't been there. No. We were booked to go there. We were on, I think it was Crown, Crown Sapphire. Crown Sapphire. Yeah. And, yeah, a COVID. dreaded a dreaded thing happened. Yeah. Um, are river cruises only for couples or can you take kids on well behaved older kids um, children might find river cruising slightly I wouldn't say boring say, but there's no kids clubs so there's nothing if they're happy to entertain themselves and that they've kind got, of thing there's a hot fine. tub they could sit in there's like yeah. little games like at the top it's nothing it's just like chess and there's some like of them are more geared up aren't they for families yeah so, if you were going like t is it Tui and Tui uh, and a Rosa, a Rosa they're, they're more geared up to the families yeah definitely um, for the one we were on it was definitely the old it, it was, was it was old, old it was, was an old demographic yeah definitely was, yeah we were like it was us and a married couple that were like we weren't the youngest. There's, there's a few. No, there was a, there were two young lads with. I think they were with their family. They yeah, were they were in their twenties. Yeah, we, you know, we were in their thirties. I was then. <laughs> I can get away with that. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, it was it was good. Um, kids, ha have a look. Um, what I'd suggest is speak to a travel agent because yeah. they'll really know the ins yeah, and outs. We, only, we can only really say, oh, we've been on Avalon, that's it. But yeah. I have, like you said, I have definitely seen some some of them offering like proper pools on the top mm -hmm. deck as well. Martin, um, the travel agent in that group, he'll be able to help you on that because he's yeah. got experience with river cruising. So, um, yeah, he went yeah. on a Rove, so in order, didn't yeah, he? And, Rove, so? yeah, and, and he used to work for a river yeah. cruise company, so yeah, he'll, he'll be able to help you on that one. Um, Tiffin lunch no, in Sindhu. No, I'm trying to think because we haven't actually experienced it since the return to cruising after the pandemic. We've not had Tiff. No, we did. We had it on Aurora. Aurora had Tiffin we had lunch. Had it on Aurora, 
And it's usually, if I'm right, isn't it only on a C day? It's yes. only ever available on C day. And we know we, we keep asking it on Iona and Avia and they don't do they it. They don't, no. But then it could be, maybe they're keeping it exclusive. But then yeah. the first, no, the first time we ever came across it was on Ventura, wasn't it? So I'm not sure if they would do it. But it seems to me maybe what they're doing is at the moment, I'd say the adult only ships possibly. <laughs> <That's> sanity. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, I've just seen the time. It's quarter two. Um, what we'll say is if you haven't entered the competition yet, please do. Um, you can win a little Max, Max the cheeky, Monkey. Cheeky Max the Monkey for Christmas. Um, to enter, go to cruisemonkeys.com forward slash win. Enter your email, your name, and make sure you click on yeah. the link to go to our group. We won't spam you from entering details. Spam. It is just purely to enter the competition to win the monkey. I'm not very fond of spam. It's all right, but yeah. yes. I can always snap the thing and I can never find the thing to undo it, so I don't like spam. <laughs> but yes, if, if you if you want to enter, please do. Um, I can see his lens Max coming in. Max is sitting so. here in eager anticipation of who is going to be his new family. His new he's family. He's waiting, he's happy. Um, off to Caribbean, the February and Pino, any good tips for exploring the islands? What I'd say is have a look at Caribbean Island Tours on yes, Facebook. they're really, really um, good. It's run by somebody called Owena Perrin. Yeah. Um, that's who we booked most of it, or about 50% of the experience. Yeah, they were, they were really reasonably priced. Very, they were really like, yeah. Local so, guides. Yeah. Brilliant, really fantastic. We like little things that they always provided you with drinks and stuff yep. or homemade punches and all. I mean, don't get me wrong, we we come off it absolutely well. You've seen the videos, come off it absolutely steaming, but it was fun. We had loads of fun, but yeah, I, I'd say, um, if it's your first time there, don't do an island, um, not an island, um, don't do a beach day because, no. well, okay, you might enjoy a beach day, but. It's difficult. Explore the yeah. explore the island. So make sure you book an excursion to see as much as a you lot, can. A lot of those though with the weather though, they were offering beach drops. So you could still explore the island and get like a bit of a beach day. Yeah. That's 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 the sweet thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Do like half day exploring the island and then yeah, have an hour or two. Was, the beach. It, was it St. Martin? Yes. Yes, we went around and we saw the sights, and then on the way back, you could go to that like hotel. Yeah. It was um, a nice beach, but we opted to go straight to the ship because we love being on the ship. And I think in St. Tom, no, uh, with Al, when he took us to the rum distillery and stuff. Yeah. After that, you could go to a beach for the afternoon and he'd pick you up at the end of the day. That oh, was right. that one. But yeah, ha have a look at awareness yeah, tours just, yeah. on Ca Caribbean Island tours on Facebook. Um, Paul is saying, yes, through sound and sweet spot, definitely yeah. is. And it's not just that, it's like, yeah, the size of the ship is nice. If you can, get, if you've got to go up like 10 decks just to get to one place or another, it's horrible when you sat in, say, your dining room, you think, oh, I've got to go and see a show, and then you've got to go traipsing yeah. across the ship, and it's like, I, I'd rather phone a taxi. Um, it's nice to. Interesting one here from Sam, uh, three th again, agreeing about 3,000. 7,000 on Wonder the Seas, uh, way too much for me. Um, we had Icon on the Seas booked at the end yeah. of January. Uh, huge ship. We, we decided we cancelled it for a number of reasons, one being the cost. Two being, it was a seven night cruise, and we just knew we, we wouldn't we get around fit the ship. it all in. No, and I thought, well, what's the point? You want to come off the ship feeling like you've had a fulfilling experience. I mean, don't get me wrong; there's nothing wrong with feeling like you want to go back. That's kind of good. I can see why they're doing it, but no, for a maiden voyage and doing what we do as well, we wanted yeah. to experience the whole lot to report back. And I just thought it's just too much, just too much, and we couldn't afford a back to back either, could we? No, we wish we could. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we might have done it. Otherwise. If money was an object, yeah, we would have. We would have definitely. Um, definitely Pete was in Arabia. Okay, it didn't it didn't seem too that's good to know, it didn't seem too crowded. Um I think we were on the two, three night as well, we? So the they party were cruises and of course the party cruises usually amped up for celebrations. So everybody wants to drink, everyone wants to party, everyone wants to do all the same things. Yep. So it's popular, you know, it gets busy. And from the seas, right. So favorite bar I'd say would be the Slearium bar. I love the Slearium. We loved really, it and really the, the guys up there were so great. We got to know them on the first day Fantastic. and we'd walk in and he they so would come around and just say do you want two wines? Yeah, please, two wines. Yeah. Job done. Salir was just my favourite spot. Following that, I would say we did like um, Davino. Is it Davino's? The wine yeah, the wine bar. bar. We really enjoyed the wine bar. Um, restaurant wise, I love Jamie's Italian. Jamie's I love. Yeah, I didn't Italian. think I would, but I really enjoyed Jamie's. The only reason you didn't like, didn't want to like Jamie was because he took away your turkey Twizzlers. Exactly. Yeah, but I do. I hate that. No, it's <laughs> wrong. Don't tell me what I will eat. He ruined my childhood. I love turkey <laughs> Twizzlers. Um, Hello, Brad from Melbourne. Melbourne. I got a few, a few, a few from down under, haven't we? A few from down under. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, our vlogs on Queen Victoria. What I'm hoping to do, people, is we've got this uh, live today. We're going to take a very brief pause because next year's obviously New Year's. We have family, we have friends, we have lots going on. Uh, the following week then, the first weekend of January, I'm looking to put my cabin tour up off Queen Victoria, which is an ocean view cabin. If you've never seen one of those, you will see, you'll see. Uh, and then following that, then there should be five vlogs for Queen Victoria at the moment. Uh, and then depending on how much time I have left, because I'm starting to struggle to fit everything in, uh, we'll see how much time we have between the end of the vlogs and the, the thing whether we make any other content because we're still sort of toying whether we're going to make some more for Virgin. Mm -hmm. We're seeing how it all pans out. We'll see. I've still got, believe it or not, I've still got a ship store that I made about three years ago. That's all edited and done. I just need to voice it over for Regal Princess. By the time of thing, it'll be, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So it just, it sometimes it just doesn't happen. I'll try, we'll try our best, but that's the plan for now. So we've taken a brief break. Yes, we'll, we'll break the five, Christmas. We, cabin tour nice. and then five vlogs, and then we'll see if we've got time to finish off and tie up any loose ends with like vision, and or maybe this we might do. Yeah. Uh, let's talk ship. We'll see what we can fit in. We'll... Is is everybody else ready for Christmas? By the way, because oh, we we feel slightly unorganised, don't we? I think we're getting there now. Yeah, we, we finished the wrappings last night until about midnight. We got uh, well, it's about quarter past twelve last night yeah. or this morning. It was like we finished wrapping. It's like. Right, is it time for bed or is it time for a gin and tonic? And then I did write some <laughs> more things on the list. And I was going to dash down to Tesco's today and buy a present, and I couldn't get it. It was sold, so I'm gutted. So I don't know whether to wish over to Half of the West tomorrow. I'm not sure. Pembroke Dock might have it. We'll see. Pembroke Dock. Yeah, we're, we hope you're more organised than we are. Let's yes. just say that. Um, Epicurean last week was outstanding. We're hoping this um, yes, I, I really liked Epicurean on Iona. You weren't, you weren't sure... And you don't like fiddly food, do no, you? No, see, don't get me wrong. When I first had the first um, time on Iona, when we had the, the crab and all in the... That was absolutely fantastic. That was the best meal on Epicurean I've ever had. That was really, really good. The second time, it was the Norwegian taster menu. And I think my expectation of it was that there would be a lot more things like sa like a hunks of salmon, I thought, because you see all these salmon farms, you're sailing out in the fjords. I thought that's what I would get a lot of. And I was craving that, and I didn't get it to the not not to the extent i wanted and then they did have a funny little starter didn't they with the chicken skin and all it was nice i enjoyed I, it it was really i, I thought it was really good this I is where just, yeah we, sometimes yeah but it's nice to have a different opinion i much preferred keel and cow put it that way yeah much preferred you like your big hank of steak i do yeah but that's not um, on the common base i don't think it was anything about the food it was just you don't know like it's just yeah it, that's it. Yeah. it it wasn't that it was done wrong or anything or the service was lousy or anything like that it was just yeah i think i if it had been an ordinary epicurean experience I would have probably might have enjoyed it. Um, must do things on Virgin Voyages. First things first, have the wings at the what's the sports bar called? Uh, come on, think, 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 think. The sports bar, you know the one in the middle. Yeah, I know the one you mean. Um, um, and I'm so I'd happy. also go to the dock to have the um, the mezze plates as well. That's yeah, really good. So the chicken wings. The steak, the hanging steak and the shrimp was absolutely beautiful. And I highly recommend the Wake restaurant. Yep. That is my favourite. Razzle restaurant. Dazzle was good. Razzle Dazzle was good. Um, what was my least favourite? There was one I wasn't too sure. There wasn't, a, no, it was never a bad one. I think my yeah. least favourite was probably the extra virgin one. Yeah, it was maybe. probably my least favourite. I think it's a shame. It can't really judge the. Um, the Mexican one. No, because we turn up late to that. Oh, I can't think that's the one. That escaped me. Um, yeah, that was our fault for turning up late. And I think the experience would have been better if we'd have sat down, got there on time. The experience would have been much nicer. Um, so we will definitely try that again when we go on it next year. And we will definitely be trying... Uh, is it going by? Going by, definitely. We're going to yes. try that next time. because I'm just yeah. trying to find the name of the place we wanted to go to on Virgin. Or oh, we said about the wings. The wings. Yeah, I can't the wings. What was called? It's by the arcade and it's all the, the games bar. arcade. I can't think what it's called. You've got the dock, then you've got the loose cannon, which is just around the corner. But oh, I can't remember what the actual uh, car was called. If Nicola or Life in the Parks is in, they somebody, know what it is. somebody might know. Um, it's the sports bar, basically. Yeah. But that's that's the best place to get wings. They do popcorn and all there, don't they? Hot it's dogs really, are good. They're really really nice. Um, make sure you bring something scarlet for Scarlet Night and just kind of yeah. don't book anything to do that evening, like food wise. Just Go we and just enjoy the galley or the wings, whatever, because you want to be around the ship all evening yeah, just to experience so, stuff. Honestly, there's so much going on. And I would suggest if you have like 
shorts or something, have a change of outfit because I had like a shirt that I surprisingly dried fast, which was amazing. I'll, I'll never forget that. I'll be wearing that next time. But I also had like swimming shorts and chino shorts. And what I did was I went in the pool, I swapped on the way up into my swimming shorts and then changed my other shorts afterwards. So then I was all nice and dry again and tidy. So that works because you you can and you will probably want to jump in the pool. Yeah, it's, got, it's got to be done. Once you're there, you might look at it and go, these people are crazy. What is going on? But when you actually the atmosphere of it, you just it's brilliant. Um, Bridget, uh, Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, okay, so somebody else is not ready for Christmas. I'm glad I'm not oh, the only one. Few because we've been like proper. We talked to everyone like, oh, I'm nearly done. I've done this. I'm like, really? Oh, come people, on. people who have lost their tape as well for the wrapping. I'm guessing that's no good. Oh, no, I've got plenty of tape, but I can't find the end of it. That's the problem. <laughs> and it does that thing where it rips and it goes all the way really, really thin, and you just get really angry with it. I hate um, that. Totally ready for Christmas. Ooh. Okay, yeah. If you're a cruise, yeah, you, you get organised, don't you? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Couture in Montenegro and the Greek Isles next year. Simples. Have you been? Oh, we haven't been to Montenegro, but we have been to Croatia, which is next door. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, that coast is absolutely stunning. We would love to go to Montenegro, though. That was definitely on our radar. So I'd say it's a good shout. Uh, San Francisco is also a really, really good ship. It's re it lo it looks really seen. nice. It looks lovely. <laughs> I, I'd love to try that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, stop it. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I would. Montenegro should be good. And where else was it? Greece. We've been to Greece for land holidays. Haven't yes. we? We've been to Cos. We've been to Rhodes. I've been to Zakynthos. And I really liked all of those. They were really good. There you go, Luke. We've What's got this? it. What's this? The wings. The so social club, club. social club that's the one that's the one okay so this is your last call now for Ooh. entering the competition what, what um, time are you going to draw the, what, I'll, I'll be doing about nine o'clock so you've Ooh. got two or three minutes if you want to have max arrive with you probably next week or the week after we'll probably pop it will we pop him in the post tomorrow yeah he'll be in the post this, tomorrow this, or... this will be posted tomorrow yep and that'll be posted tomorrow so they'll be posted tomorrow but um as it's saturday It'll arrive sometimes between Christmas and yeah, because I suppose New what have you got? Yeah, you got you got um, yeah Christmas Eve is Sunday, no post Sunday yeah. anyway. Then you got Christmas Day, then you got Boxing Day. Yeah, so it's going to probably be delayed. So if but... you want to enter that, head over to cruisemakers.com forward slash win, name, email address, enter that, <laughs> oh. click um, our Facebook group, and make sure you click through to the group to be entered. I'll just have a look now, just to give anybody who's not done it properly a chance to do it. Let's have a look who we got. So Robert, uh, Lynette, Catherine, Richard, Ray, Luke, uh, Mark, uh, and Luke. Luke um, Russell, that is. Yeah, Luke Russell. Not me. Not you. <laughs> I'm not entering my own competition. Um, if you've you've got a couple of minutes, head back to the website. Make sure you click that link. Um, we'll be drawing just around nine o'clock or just after nine o'clock. So you've got about two three minutes to do that. None of them would be from before, would they? Because possibly would it stay at the top and the new one be yes, dropped in? So I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, so hopefully, if they have done it, it's, maybe it's just a glitch showing the same names because they were there before. Um, so loose cannon. Uh, would you have any plans to try Costa? We, we've NCL looked at the newer ships. Right now, we haven't been on NCL. Costa, they do look. The newer ships do look nice, and we know the cruise boys always go on about them, don't they? Mm. Cruise um, boys have got the videos on Costa. If we did like them. the look. Of, a few years ago, I did like the look of trying. Is it Delioso or Luminosa? Because they are sister ships to like Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, and Arcadia. So we were quite familiar with the layout of the ship, so to speak. The sort of same style and size. We did think about those. We just never got round to it. Um, especially now, one of them's Carnival Costa Carnival, isn't it? I would like to try them again. Well done. <laughs> Well, Sorry. Done. he's got red wine on my white tablecloth, people. Never mind. Um, At least it's not a Max. No, it's not a Max. <laughs> he's over here. He's dry as with me. We would like to try them, though. Um, definitely. NCL, I would also love to try. NCL, right, is the one with the go carts on the roof. Yes. That I really want to try. I think that would be awesome. So, and I do have some good deals. The only thing that puts me off with NCL at the moment, and I don't know if this is still a case, but there was this whole thing from the UK. We saw it on Facebook groups, didn't we? Where they, they were saying they, they, they weren't saving alcohol. alcohol and stuff because of the taxes and all this lot. And I was like, right, I'm not going to bother. I just don't want my holiday ruined by dumb cat and corners. So we've been put off with them yeah. at the moment until we get that cleared up. But I would like to try them, definitely. Quite a few people saying Couture is amazing. Yes, definitely. Uh, 
Yeah, no, that sounds really good. Pain. Gone quiet now, Gavin. Quite as weird as he is. He's really. Uh, sorry, and everyone, I'm, everyone I'm else is frantically typing in their details. They're like, I want to win the monkey. So it's all gone. So we've got a few more minutes. What we're going to do, it's just gone nine. It's nine o'clock now. So what, I don't get that wine on your top. I, I, that's why yeah. I put the paper that's over it. Say. It's fine. Can we get told off tonight? Because I've got wine on. Table. It's not that. I do it all over that lovely top. And this tablecloth, a miracle tablecloth. So I've got curry on it, and everything on it, and it just washes out. I don't know where it's from. I don't think it's actually cotton. I don't think it's some sort of plastic. It just washes out. It's great. Yeah, I'm just looking now. Uh, yeah, okay. So some, some of you have gone back, I can see, but it's still, um, just a couple of you now which haven't gone back. That's fine. So what is it? What's with the Facebook group? Then they have to go through Facebook yeah, just, together. Yeah, you need to click it. That's fine. Do they have to be in the group? No, no, you, just, no, you, you just, just click the entry. Oh, okay. So um, I think we're ready to draw another one, and then we'll be closing down the live, I think. Are we ready with that? We don't want to keep you, because obviously you might have lots of wrapping, and you might have mince pies to make, you might have Christmas cakes to ice like me today, yes. you might have wine to drink, you might have things on telly, places to go, people to see. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate you spending time with us this evening, especially being Black Friday. Yes, thank you very much because you could for be coming along, having the right hoot. Um, having a hoot with us. If you're watching this on catch up, I'm afraid uh, the competition will have closed by now. Closed. <laughs> um, but we will be running something else in the new year. Um, so stay, you know, make sure you follow us on Instagram, we're Cruise Monkeys UK. Yeah. Um, we're on Facebook, Cruise Monkeys UK. You can find our Facebook group on um, Facebook as well, which is uh, Bananas About Cruising, Cruise Monkeys, obviously. I don't know how um, members at all. You can follow us on Threads as well, Cruise Monkeys UK, and you can make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube at Cruise Monkeys. Okay, but can you remember your cabin number when you're on a ship? No, I can from Queen Victoria. It's one 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 one. I still remember that one. That was because it was easy peasy. So yeah, right. please give us video a like. Yes, um, please. please subscribe. Yeah, and have a great Christmas yes. and we'll now because I know we yes. all have disappeared so and I hope us. you all have a happy and healthy new year as well next year with loads of cruising joy and laughter and drinks and more so right we have 62 entries Ooh. so let's see who's gonna win shall we do we reckon it'll be the same person again <laughs> we've seen that on the bingo on the deep with the deep yeah. didn't we the we same did. person went like twice right is it doing it oh oh oh, oh. Right. we have an official winner somebody has won Max Max has a new family so, Max will be going to. Do you want to do it? Or do you no, you can it? do it. It's fine. David Martin, you have won Max the Monkey. He is on his way to you. Won the Christmas Max the Monkey with the hat that you can detach and you can take him on your trips with you. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. So, what we'll do so is. These will be in the post tomorrow, people. Yes. So, Andy will be. Um, and Andy and David will be emailing you after this live, yeah. um, just asking for your address, and we'll get these in the post to you tomorrow. And as we said, hopefully the shop will be up and running in January, and you'll probably most that will definitely be available. This is on its, its work in progress. It's coming. Yes. He is coming. Yes, he is coming. I'm just making sure we haven't got any questions before we close down. Yeah, if there's anything you want to know quickly before we leave, and then that, uh, I, th I think that sums I up think, quite nicely. What's this? Uh, yeah, that happens. Yeah, that, that sums up at this time of year. Yeah, and then it's always rushing back before you've always got to have a spare set of cards, haven't you? You yeah. have to. I was, and if you go visit them, keep them in the camera. And you always have to it's... have that spare box of chocolate or something that you've just wrapped in case someone turns up at your house with somebody else and goes, Oh, this is for you. And it's like, <gasps> You can just run upstairs and just leave the tag all fixed and just write on the tag. Yeah, I've learned that. I've learned that. <laughs> yeah, no, watching watching Christmas now, there'll be someone rushing out. Like, Here's a box of chocolates, and I'll know exactly what I've yes. done. So, yes, thank you for making it this evening. Yes. Um, we hope you have a really good Christmas and New Year. Nori Clowen, I believe you we there. Yeah, and thank you so much for all your support for this past year. And we hope to see you for more adventures next year. Yes. We're really excited about it. So, have a good one, everybody. Yes. Merry Christmas. Bye, Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Max, he is waving too. Bye. <laughs>